Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, your favorite realtor in Mobile, and this is Monica. Monica is the goddess of house loans. <laughs> and he's gonna be her number so you can call her text if you want to buy a house. So I'm gonna move this closer and we're gonna talk about Monica. How would you describe our area? Uh, well, I was born and raised right here in Mobile, Alabama, and everything that I have here, I would not give it up. <laughs> I would not give it up at all. I, you know, you can always travel, uh, you know, to other places and do other things, but definitely if you can buy something in Mobile, Alabama, you are lucky because if you go somewhere else, it's going to be twice as much, three times as much. Um, I don't know. I've just... This is my home. This is my home. I've never thought about leaving. Uh, of course, I've done my share of traveling, but I love it here. The weather's great. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to change what I get here, especially with the weather uh, and especially with what I have and what I've worked for over the years. I, I just love it. I just think it's a great place. You know, it's a central location, in my opinion, that you can travel anywhere you want to travel to by being right here in Mobile, Alabama. Thank you. And this was Monica. Monica, with what's the name of your bank? Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate Bank. Sweet home Alabama! Woo! Typically, we will need your last most recent pay stubs, two to four pay stubs. We will need your W-2s the last two years. We will need your last two bank statements. Uh, and that's pretty much a great start right there. If you can get your pay stubs and tax returns, I mean, I'm sorry, your W-2s mm -hmm. and your bank statements, that is great because that kind of lets me know, you know, where your money situation is. Then we'll kind of touch on, okay, I see you only have $10 in your account. Your down payment, you know, on this $100,000 house is going to be $3,500. So where will the difference come from? So we'll touch on some avenues that you can uh, use as far as your down payment. You can get a gift from mama, daddy, sister, brother, fiance, uh, cousin, grandmama, granddaddy. You know, some people don't know that we can use a gift. Uh, and then too, you may have a 401k account or a savings account somewhere that you didn't, you know, initially speak about. There are several ways that you can get your down payment. Uh, from. So those are some things that we will talk about if you are approved. What's, a, what's the lowest down payment? Okay, so on the down payment, again, depending on if you're going to do an FHA loan, typically the down payment is 3.5% of whatever your purchase price is. Uh, on the conventional loans, typically your down payment is 5%. In some cases, with very, very, very good credit scores, uh, you might be able to get the 3% down conventional loan. Uh, and then you have your VA and your USDA. Those are 100% financing. How long uh, your pre-approval letter uh, lasts? Does it have an expiration date? Okay, so if you get approved, the pre-approval letter is typically good for four months. Uh, and in that time, you really don't want to buy anything else. You don't want to go out and buy new cars or open new credit accounts or installment loans. Uh, because, you know, you know, if you're, uh, if, if you're going to go buy a car, then absolutely we may find that out down the road. And we really want to know everything up front because that can absolutely change your approval. Okay. So that's on the approval. Now, if you are declined uh, and there are some things that you need to work on. When you do your application, we can also have a discussion with you about the things that you need to do to, number one, bring up your credit score. Um, you may have to pay off some debts to do that. Uh, if there are some disputed accounts, um, you know, things of that nature. Or you may have to go down in your loan amount. Uh, like you may say, I want to get $150,000. Well, I may say, well, look, I can only get you one hundred and thirty. dollars so even if you are declined or your application will be pending because it's pending more information, then we can have that discussion in detail as well at the time of application. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. um, so if somebody gets this information from you, we would consider it pretty much free financial coaching Absol from you. Absolutely. Uh, I encourage everybody, the people that uh, do their applications, I, I really want to meet them, you know, face to face. Uh, even the ones that are approved, if there are some documents missing, I want you to go ahead and get me that other pay stub or that other W-2. Or, you know, I want to look at, you know, that two-year history for residency or your jobs and things of that nature. I want to go ahead on those approved applications and make sure that I got everything in order, lined up perfectly. Because when I get that contract, I'm ready to go. Ready Thank to go. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. appreciate it. Call Monica Allen. Uh, he is going to be aligned with your phone number, text her, and uh, I'll tell her that you see her in the show. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>